Imagination of the Week. This is what things kind of happen in, in December. And Tim, my favorite segment, Imagination Station. Yeah, that's what right. What kind of science experiments are you going to do today? Well, we know they're right down the road from us, but we like it when they come here. I love it when you, they come you, here. You can really show off your things. And, you know, we know with winter weather here, you're thinking about ice and cold. Well, Sloan Everly and Carl Nelson are here from the Imagination Station. The science of the season is what we're uh, talking about and showing this morning. And I guess it's ice and snow that you're going to be showing us. And there are lots of things you can do with it, right? Absolutely. And you know, you start to get that cabin fever around the holidays. You have oh, the yeah. kids home for a couple <laughs> weeks. We're going to show you a really fun activity you can do at home. Make your own ice cream. Wow. That's a, you, you knew I liked ice cream. Apparently, absolutely, right? absolutely. But I've never made it this way, I know that. And it's super easy to okay. do. You're just using a few ingredients. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that the more fat that you put into ice cream, the better it tastes, which probably oh, yeah. isn't all that big of a surprise here. <laughs> I think they've done studies on that. Yep, so I'm gonna have you help me out here. Okay. We're gonna pour two cups of heavy whipping cream into our bowl. Into the bowl, okay. So just pour this right in. All right. And now, then, do you guys do this at home? Um, <laughs> you certainly could. You could. Doesn't <laughs> mean that you do, have right? honestly done it, but it does taste delicious. Okay. And All then right. just regular milk there? A cup of milk, whole milk. Like whole we milk. said before, the fattier the better. Okay. And if you can pour in that big cup of sugar the there. The whole thing? Yep. And this is one cup, is that one right? One cup. So the ratio right. is two parts cream to one part milk and one part sugar. Is this going to blow up on us somehow? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> I don't Hopefully believe not. you. And then we just okay. need to add a small amount of some vanilla. So just no, a little okay. boop. Probably more than we even need it, but <laughs> <laughs> can't go wrong there. Okay. So Carl's going to stir this up a little bit. Right. You want to get that sugar dissolved into the mixture so it's a okay. nice, even mixture. Do so you need that closer to you now? It's a little hard to get to. Oh, no, okay. that's fine. That's fine because you're, you're doing the next step here. Okay. So in order to uh, turn this into ice cream, we need to cool it down. All right? Right. So go ahead and keep stirring that. Keep stirring it? Keep okay. stirring that. We're going to get it mixed up. I've got some ice over here. We're just going to add ice into one of these gallon-sized bag okay. baggies. Because right and now I'm thinking, how in the world is this going to turn into ice cream? <laughs> well, we're going to cool it down. We're going to cool okay. it down. And what I need you to do is we have two size baggies, a small size and a large size. Okay. The small size is going to have that liquid mixture in it. So go ahead and take one of those measuring cups. Here oh, we go. Okay. And scoop in a little. As much as I can or? Yeah. Do you maybe want a cup or two would be great. Dump cup right or two? In. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, maybe one. It's more. okay to make a mess. That's it's all part of the game, okay. right? Absolutely. It makes it more fun. Hey, it's your studio, not ours. <laughs> That's <laughs> There's right. There's no problem with us. I hope you brought the paper towels. All right, okay. so now we're going to get the air out of this, All right. seal it tight, and we've got ice, which is not cold enough, really, to form the ice cream. We want to get a little colder, so okay. give us a, a hefty dose of some rock salt in Okay, there. just pour it on in there? Just pour it right in. More the better. Okay. Uh, what the salt does is lower the freezing point of the ice, so the ice gets colder than 32 ah, degrees. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. Throw on a little bit more ice, okay. and then throw in your baggy mixture. Smoosh it down. All right. Seal it up in case there is one of those explosions you talked about. <laughs> the different kind of explosions. I know you explosions. have the goggles here. I'm starting to wonder. All right. So, Tim, there you go. That is, is your... Is it okay to hold this? Absolutely. Yep, okay. That is... it Just go like it. this? Okay. Now, you're going to do that for about 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 okay. minutes? About 20 minutes at home, and you're going to get some really nice ice cream. Now, I know we don't have 20 minutes frozen here. Frozen hands, yeah. You're going to have some frozen hands. So, okay. But that definitely will make some ice cream. This will turn into ice cream. Absolutely. Are you serious? Wow. That's 20 minutes, though. Yeah. So just vig vigorously shaking. Vigorously shaking up. You're cooling Put the it down. Put kids to work. You know, get I was going to say, pass it on absolutely. down if your hands get kind of or tired. Or make multiple versions, right? Okay. There you go. But we wouldn't do wow. that in the science center. That's going to take too long, right? Okay. What we would do is use a little bit of science. So go ahead and put your okay. goggles, goggles on. Goggles on here. All right. We're going to use something called liquid nitrogen. Instead of ice, cool. which is at 32 degrees below zero, uh, there's, we have a company in town, Air Liquide, that donates uh, liquid nitrogen to us. It's okay. 320 degrees below zero. Wow. So this stuff is very, very cold. <laughs> and you have your gloves, I see that. We have our okay. gloves. What we're going to do is just take a little bit of this liquid nitrogen, add it to our mixture, cool okay. it down quickly. Because one of the secrets of making really good ice cream is you want to form tiny ice crystals. Okay. So you want to cool your mixture down quickly, and you want to add a little bit of air to the mixture as you start mixing it so up. So keep stirring it. Okay. So keep stirring it. <laughs> now, the liquid nitrogen is always turning into a gas. So it's adding some little micro okay. uh, bubbles of air inside the mixture there. And it's also cooling it down quickly. So we'll add a wow. little bit more there. That is cool. And we should mention that we're making our liquid nitrogen ice cream at, in the science studio the week mm -hmm. after Christmas. Oh, you are. So you will be doing that. People can see that. You can come okay. down. You can see it up close. You All can right. actually have a sample of it. There we go. Pull down just a little bit more. It's starting to look a little bit more like ice cream there. Yep, it's starting to thicken up in there. I you can't see it with the smoke, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. And that, that smoke is actually okay. tiny little ice crystals because we're taking some of the moisture here in the studio yeah. air, turning it into uh, tiny ice crystals. So people can watch 
after Christmas. You can watch you guys doing this. We or can watch. actually do it too. Oh, they can watch. And they can watch and then they can taste. Out. Look at that. And we have ice cream. <laughs> Woo! Like you said, <laughs> you need a better spoon, I bet. It's Look your, it's your studio. So can I try it? Absolutely. That's Is it safe to bite into it? Spoon. There you go. Give it a try. You don't have to give it a waiting period <laughs> or anything? Oh, no. It's good for you. Look at that. That did not take long. Mm. It's not bad, huh? That was really good. <laughs> I'm eating ice cream with goggles on. I just realized that. <laughs> that is excellent. Well, thank you guys. Oh, we want to mention the circus is almost done, right? Absolutely. Circus okay. leaves at the beginning of January, so over holiday break, make sure you come on down. Okay. Um, we're normally closed on mm. Mondays, but December 28th, we're open. We have Chad Hartson coming in. He's an ice carver. He does awesome ice okay. sculptures, and kids Great. can play with the ice. All right. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate it. Thanks, Carl, and thanks, thanks. to Sloan for being here. Great.